It's been one whole year since I came off my meds. I had been on antidepressants for five years, pain medications for four, and anticonvulsants for three, and these prescribed drugs consumed me. Completely. In 2019, I spent £241 of money that I'd spent weeks working for on seemingly necessary prescriptions from my local pharmacy. Were they helpful? or just so all-encompassingly numbing that I was unable to differentiate their impact from my lack of enthusiasm for being alive. Regardless of the answer, these teeny tiny tablets had taken control over me to the point that I could no longer tell what was me and what was the drug. Where I ended and the medication began, what was a personal response and what was a mere side effect. I had lost myself, entirely. So over the space of two months, with the cautious observation of my doctors, I slowly and carefully began to reduce the dosages of each of the medications. The side effects of the lowered dosages did not hold back. Prolonged nausea that swelled into explosively unsettled stomachs to an extent where it was safer to sleep by the toilet. Loss of appetite that argued with a deep yearning growl in the pit of my belly just to feel and feed off something. A genuine disgust just thinking about the possibility of eating anything which became feeling too faint and weak to move. Extreme sweats that would drench the sheets every night. The violently aggressive spasms escaping from the lower half of a body that I no longer knew. And the brutally crushing plunge into an even deeper, darker depression than the usual grey that I'd been living in. All this before I'd even stopped completely. Although, at the time, I considered these pills a remedy, each capsule a sedating aid assisting me through my day-to-day existence, all they really did was tranquilize, slowly and gently anaesthetize me from the overwhelming ache in both my brain and my heart. I didn't realize at the time I couldn't, but the further I got down the line, I was becoming something different, someone else. It was me, but on my own. I'd blocked out everyone I'd ever known, I'd become distracted and absorbed, obsessed with the mess that I'd created in my head. I'd lost who and what I loved, just trying to keep my head above the water. They took over. They'd sort of put the pain on mute, but as I sluggishly became the medication that was manipulating my brain, I couldn't see that they had drained and destroyed me. Each dose fixed the feeling, but I was never really healing. A prescription to survive felt like the only way to stay alive. But recovery does not come in a tablet. They stole my energy and my motivation, but what I needed was therapy and communication, and yet the easiest way to avoid the void in my head was to fill it with pills that might suppress the sore and do nothing. Just try to ignore that I was not okay. I needed help which I was lucky enough to eventually receive four years of counselling, individual, group and family, but years went by before I realised that I had to be the one to perceive life in a different light. I learnt that I had to be the one to fight the fight for me and my happiness because no one else can do that for you. The depression was in my brain, the pain was my pain, the person I had become was mine to claim. I had to be the one to reverse the shame that I was feeling for cutting off loved ones and friends. It was down to me to mend the pain that my brain had caused and to understand that while in my darkness my awareness of others had been paused. The burning sadness and anger within me had radiated outwards and while I had been knocked out unconscious by my feelings and thoughts, I was unaware that I had been throwing out hurdles that loved ones would stumble on time and time again. So I came off the meds that for so long I thought had scented me and I found myself once more, as well as returning waves of empathy. It was one of the hardest things I've ever done slowly lowering each dosage, each day a more overwhelmingly encompassing feeling of sickness swirling within my gut, and the wishes to leave this world and enter another became more prominent, luring me closer, convincing me that there was nothing to stay for, that it would be easier. Nevertheless, I fought. It has been one whole year since I came off my meds and it was one of, if not the hardest thing I've ever done. 
Of course, I can only speak from my own experience. What works for one person could very easily be the downfall of another. For a while, a tablet to numb the whirring pain inside my brain was enough to keep me from going insane, but as the years went on and I grew up and stretched out, I came to learn what life is about, living. Those who love you will be forgiving. They may not understand exactly what you've been through, but it's not in what you say or know, it's in what you do. I don't want to say that I've come out of the other side of a battle with my mental health because that would be a lie. I've just done what I needed to do to survive. It's an ongoing journey, as it is for everyone, as we each evolve into the humans that we're destined to become. Life is for living, as pathetic as that sounds. Follow your heart or your head or your gut. Just trust what you believe in and understand that no one can make you feel better but yourself. I am the master of my own happiness. It is a privilege to just be. And I've grown to love just being me. I had to come off the medication to see what it was really like to truly breathe.